Yo, what up everyone, it's Rick here at utvstores.com and uh, we got another customer's car in here. Actually, he's a good friend of mine and, and his wife. Uh, so we gotta have this car ready for the 2019 Sandsport Super Show, which is like in three weeks. On top of me getting my car together for another reveal and the 2019 Honda Talon. So uh, I got a full plate. These are my good friends. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and put the car together myself. I'm probably gonna have to call in some help. It is what it is. It's crunch time for that. Um, pretty cool though, it's 2019 Can-Am X3 XRS. Black, it's just like an 18. A couple little changes. So uh, we're gonna reveal this car. Uh, the customer's name's Eric and his wife is Janie. Uh, you may know Janie from Instagram. She goes by Hello Janie. She's a Monster Energy lady and a PFL ring girl. I've known them for a very long time. We camp together, we have a lot of fun together and we go on off-road adventures together in the groups that we run in. I'm in here, it's hot. Nothing really exciting goes on when you're taking apart a car, so I'm gonna let you see the process anyways. We're gonna reveal this car to, to Janie and Eric at uh, Sandsport Super Show in the Casey Highlights booth alongside my car as well. And the reveal of the Honda Talon in the Icon booth at Sandsport Super Show with my Raptor. Um, these two cars are getting something very, very special on top of everything else that's been done to them now. So mine was a complete rebuild. This is a full build. The Talon's a full build. So Janie, Eric, I hope you like your car. This video is up, which means you've seen it now. Um, I hope you guys like it, so. And here we go. Basically, I'm cutting the rivets out. Already did on the door, simple drill. Not hanging in here, it's nothing crazy, it's super boring. Then you get into it, pull the harnesses, pull the seats. Get in awkward positions, probably get some more cuts, pop your shoulders. Ugh. Can't am use way too much Loctite. Eric and Janie are in Mexico. This week's also the uh, Vegas Torino race. So it makes it super rad getting parts on short notice. We'll make it happen. That's what we do. Canadians don't want the seats to come out ever. They built a badass car. Biggest made retarded seats. So you guys see this right here? It's called the no fun plug. Right there. See that? Hey guys, you unplug me and you'll have no fun. So when you uh <laughs> I'm a dork today, sorry. So when you uh, unplug your harnesses and you're upgrading your harnesses, you actually have to buy a, buy a little part. A couple companies sell them. I just loop them. All it is is a plug and you loop the wire. Just no big deal. Right? Some harnesses like the PRP ones we install, they actually have a plug in that comes with the harness, plugs right in. It's a speed sensor. It doesn't let you go past like 20 or some shit or 30. I don't know. I got a boo-boo. One seat out. Thank God it's only a two seater. You weren't supposed to see that car. Well, you've seen it by now anyway, so. Anyways. We're gonna stop here, I'm gonna get the other seat out, and then I'm gonna start the video back up and it's gonna look like a lot of things happened. A few moments later. All right, so. Just want to show you guys something. For all those that say stock cages are rad. It's a brand new stock cage. It's got zero miles on it. 
You undo the bed bolt. Watch this. Watch how far. With one hand, I can bend that out. So when you roll, that's that's like lawn chair material. Watch. Look at this. This is insane. It's insane. You have a better idea. Dragging you all across my roof. Watch this. If it was like DOM or a nice cage, you wouldn't be able to pull on it like this. It's a brand new cage. Brand new cage. Zero miles. 2019 car. All I did was unbolt two bolts there. Peeled it right off. It's a little rivet. It's your cage. Sweet, dude. You guys don't get to see the thickness because they cap them with plastic. Plastic. Crappy little weld. Which isn't really a crappy weld at all. The weld stuck. The weld stayed. It's just the material so thin that my little pin ass can rip it apart. Do yourself a favor, look into cages, people. If you're gonna be, uh, <laughs> Driving hard, driving aggressively, driving fast. Yeah. It's pretty gnarly, right? Like, when I say it's lawn paper, lawn chair material, I think you just proved the point right there. I mean, that's, that's insane. Look at that. Brand new cage. <laughs> There's no way. There's no way Eric would let Janie drive this car like that. Like seriously. So, um, we're getting rid of the cage. Obviously the seats are out, the cage is going out. This is so bad. You know, on the 2020s now, it's a bolt-in cage. They've always been there, right? You just have to cut this crap out of the way. And then a new 3 16 plate on most cages, or even 8th inch to 3 16 sits on this, bolts down, and it's a nice weld. And it's real tubing. This is a metric tubing. Actually, like, you can't even slip tube this stuff. It's the wrong size when you try to slip through, slip tube anything in here. So, it'll never work. You can see that the weld didn't fail, the material did. Yeah. All right, guys. So that's enough of uh, totally destroying Eric's cage and Janie's cage that they never wanted anyways. But you can see, I'm not a big guy. I ripped that clear off. It's really, really bad. It's really, it's just bad. So we're going to keep them safe. You guys don't have to buy a super uber baller ass cage, right? There's other cages out there on the market that if you have a little bit of experience in welding, you can probably execute on your own and you can get a weld it yourself cage for under a thousand bucks. Shipping on them is really cheap too. It's like a hundred bucks or something like that. So, I'm pulling the plastics off, 
front and back so I can get in there and cut the cage out and get it ready. And hopefully some parts arrive. We're still on day one. This is gonna be a learning experience for all of us as we go through it. I'm gonna stop, show you what I think is crap and why we replace it. So I think I just proved a point on the cage why I think it's crap. It's fine if you're just gonna go out trail riding, cruising, but when you start like throttling down, which everyone does, because that's why you buy the 72 inch model, the turbo, this is what you get. You get aluminum feeling lawn chair poolside junk crap cages that fail. It's just when you buy one, you, you need to know that you're gonna be doing certain upgrades on a Can-Am. When you buy a Polaris, you're gonna do other upgrades on a Polaris. You buy a Talon, you're gonna do certain upgrades on a Talon. But on a Can-Am, it's cage seats and replace your suspension, basically. Because <laughs> believe it or not, the trailing arms and the arms and the radius rods are the same thickness of your cage. So sad. All right, guys, I'll get back to work. Dope cage, bro. So good. All right, Eric, Jamie, we now built you a four-point cage. This automatically, instantly looks better than the jank they already had, so we're just gonna leave it like this. We're gonna throw some black paint. I'm just kidding. Get back to work. I'm gonna move to the front now. We pretty much, that's pretty much all you have to take apart is the rear fenders, you unplug the lights, a couple little bolts and screws, shock, shocks lay over, um, Slip the front end off. I'll back it outside and I'm gonna cut it off. And then I'll grind it, paint it, and then wait for the new cage and uh, bring it back in here. Start drilling all the rivets out of the suspension because that's gonna go bye bye too. Because believe it or not, the upper arms are just as awesome as this stuff. So we're just gonna get rid of it. 